welcome to my first ever episode of Camp Cooking with Lou. Um, I plan to film around some great locations in Victoria. It is the Garden State and we have some great spots to go camping and um, I'm just going to show a few simple recipes that are really easy to do and perfect for camping. So enjoy! Today I'm here at Torquay and we're down here at Cozy Corner Beach, beautiful little spot for the, bring the family for a nice little outing for the day and today I'm actually going to be cooking for you good old potato bake, scallop potatoes, whatever you call it. So let's get cooking. Make a potato bake, you obviously need potatoes. Um, I use the, I think they're called Desiree, Desiree, um, a red skin variety, all so you can use common brushed potatoes or washed potatoes. One large onion or in my case today two small onions. We've also got uh, cream and full cream milk. So we use 250 to 300 mils of cream and we use 150 mils of full cream milk. Plus we use a packet of French onion soup mix, a peeler, a knife and a nice cake tin to put it all in. Perfect. So first we just need to slice some onion finely. This is the way I cut my onion. Ends off, cut it in the middle. Don't know how you other ladies do it. And it just makes it easier to um, peel the outer layer off. I'm... Okay, by ladies, I mean, of course, ladies or men. And then we don't need a lot of onion for this because we've got the French onion soup mix. So that kind of is your oniony flavor. Also, you'll notice I didn't use cheese um, on this. I'm not using cheese today. I don't do a cheesy potato bake because cheese gives me gas and then of course we have to peel our potatoes you have to peel them and slice them as thinly as you can please um, it doesn't matter if they're a bit thicker but I just think the potato bake that I do turns out a little bit better with sort of that thickness now we're doing something very simple making the cream mixture which is simply the packet of uh, French onion soup mix 250 or 300 mils of um, cream. As I said, fresh cream is great, but look, this long life cream is very handy for camping. So give that a go. And then 150 mils of full cream milk. Mix all that together. Give it a bit of a stir. You need to start assembling our potato bake. You need a nice heavy base cake tin. I've sprayed and lined that. You can just grease it with butter if you like also. We've got our potatoes that have been thinly sliced by hand and then we've also got onion that's been chopped and we've got the cream and French onion soup mix so we'll start assembling and this is how we do it. potato bake assembled, all ready to go into its cooking device, which I'll talk to you right now about. Um, with some foil, cover with some foil over it. So if you have the luxury of having a campfire with coals then and a Dutch oven, a camp oven as they're known as, you'll need to have a camp oven with a trivet set up. Lay this cake tin on top of the trivet and put it on your coals for about one and a half to two hours probably coals on top of the lid as well, it's a bit of even heating. I don't quite have the luxury of that on my um, today. So I've actually got, which I'm going to show you in a moment, it's called a cob cooker and I'll be using that in my videos. And it's just a much more convenient way for me of, um, of baking things that I would normally do in a camp oven on the coals. So this is my cob cooker, my alternative to having coals um, on a campfire. It, for those of you who don't know about it, it's a very fuel efficient, compact little oven that you can have camping. It's got 10 heat beads in this, which I've been preheating um, for approximately half an hour, and then they're ready to cook on. So I'm going to place on the rack here, my little scallop potato bake, and I'm gonna leave that for two and a half hours. So you do need to do this in advance. It's not something you can do last minute, but two and a half hours, on the cob cooker will give it a lovely even beautiful heat and it will be ready to eat and absolutely delicious and i'll show you that shortly but i'm about to now start to accompany our potato bake um, in two and a half hours i'm just going to get prepared with some my fillet steaks and a simple rocket salad i'm going to have with it um, so i'll do that later Bye. 
happy cooking. <laughs> bake has been on for two and a half hours in my cob cooker or as I said one and a half hours to two hours on coals in a camp oven and here we have a delicious creamy potato bake it's yep cooked absolutely perfectly I'll just put some on Rachel's plate and there we have it thank you Lou that delicious. Looks delicious scalloped potatoes camp cooking with Lou too easy people what do you think, Sharon? It is absolutely beautiful. Oh, thank you, Lou. Oh, thank you. Such good feedback. <laughs> oh.